Today's business notes are brought to you by Community Bank, the better business bank. Hello, I'm Stacy Smith, and in today's business notes, you would be hard pressed these days to find any upbeat economic reports, and today the story was much the same. The latest report to show just how hard the economy has been hit deals with manufacturing. There was a more than 10% drop in orders for manufactured goods for the month of March compared to February. They began keeping records on this in 1992, and the drop in March is the biggest on the record books, and April could be worse. Returning to work in factories are Italians. More than 4 million Italians went back to work today after a lockdown that lasted two months. Distancing protocols have now been implemented to try to prevent a resurgence of the virus. For some general electric workers, though, the story is not as good. The downturn in the airline industry means fewer planes are being built, and that means low demand for the jet engines that GE makes, so it is laying off 13,000 workers, which is about a quarter of its workforce in that division. There's a lot of talk that J.C. Penney and Neiman Marcus will be filing for bankruptcy, but J. Crew is the first of the retail chains to file for protection. The company had to close 500 of its stores because of the pandemic, and now it expects to lose $900 million in sales. And on the subject of firsts, California is the first state to borrow money from the federal government so that it can pay increasing claims for unemployment benefits. The state is borrowing $348 million, and it can borrow up to $10 billion by the end of July. Over the weekend, Warren Buffett told investors in his Berkshire Hathaway company that he had sold his entire holdings in the four major U.S. airlines, and he also talked about potential issues for some other stock groups in the future. Well, investors took that to heart, and they were sellers this morning. But by the time the closing bell sounded, they were buyers. Here now are the closing numbers for the day. The Dow Jones Industrial Average posted a gain of 26 points. The NASDAQ was up 105, and the S&P 500 gained 12. And there's also some optimism about the future. Carnival Cruise Lines has now scheduled its first cruise to take place on August the 1st. That's today's business notes. I'm Stacy Smith.